Okay, this is part two of We Was Aryans, and uh, here, I mean, the guy keeps flip-flopping and actually putting his foot in his mouth, and I just want to show you, but also the guy that's the pink dude, the other guy that keeps going back and forth with him, actually lives in India, because after he says it a few times, it sinks in when he says India and we and our. And then he says a big thing, then all of a sudden the guy realizes he's busted and then tries to go off totally. And he goes, you guys try to distort history. And he goes, ooh, da, da, da. And he goes on this big tirade, like they do. But, and I'd like to read it out to you sentence by sentence, because during the tirade he never mentions anything that's even close to Africa whatsoever. But it's, uh, it's kind of funny. He says, uh, so... He, he tries to tell, now this is just back to back right here, he tells them the word Sanskrit is from Indus near Valley and there's no word in any in European languages, also the European sun wheel is not the swastika. So that's the end of it and they don't, they didn't know about the symbol or anything and bleh. Next sentence, you know the swastika when you've seen it, bam, busted, I mean it's, yeah and it's like, well look, the same word, swastika, fall fought, whatever it's named and all of these proto-indo-european people that carried this symbol it has nothing to do with black people but you're just trying to discount anything you can and you put your foot in your mouth twice and since the swastika exited existed on egyptian temples long before the romans even existed you need to get your timeline correct well in a minute i'll try to remember to show you um you know the proto-romans and people the etruscans it had to do with them in tuscany they've got it it's pretty simple to find in those too and uh, so about the same time and things oh yeah well it goes back much further in fact you need to get your timeline correct he just said before this that they find it on mammoth bones that are 12,000 BC so there you know that encompasses anything you're gonna try to speak about and your deal that apparently is made 12th, 4th century, 12th or 14th century AD and you're trying to say oh we were the Aryans and they're fighting for this, seriously. That's what's so disgusting and awkward about it all. He tells them that Africa and Asia used it first. Not that Asia used it for, no, no, he tries to throw him himself in there. Then he tells you, because that where Aryans came from, because that where Aryans came from, Every respected anthropologist except that East Africans, Middle Easterns, some Asians are Aryans. And yes, this is the ancient Egyptians, not the, not the Arabs that are there now and stuff. The ancient Egyptians, all those were Aryans, yeah, yeah. And An An Anatolians and early European hunter-gatherer farmers, all those people were, yeah, were Aryans. And now he's going to throw this in there, check it out and some West Africans who migrated. Oh, are you gonna try to say the Berbers that have been there forever, that are blonde haired and blue eyed and stuff that are in North Africa over in that area, far West Africa, Northwest Africa, above the Sahara, don't, don't exist. Sure, there's some people there now that are uh, from African descent, but that's all from Islamic slave trade, but they wanna make sure you don't know that fact and they're gonna, oh, we were there first. Um, uh, let me see if I can confuse you and then we were there first and it's like no, it's not going to work you were the primitives and uh, nothing changes Iran which means land of the Aryans is even mentioned in the Bible for goodness sake so he's talking about how the great land of the Sumerians was really in the Bible and part of that thing and, and they, now this is the other guy right this is this is this dude here we got indo-aryan swastika has represented the sun wheel as a term of good luck or being well-being in indo-aryan religion even up to today our religion our religion culture and customs use the swastika as a powerful symbol in every facet of life the indo-european people and its ancient tribes uh revered this symbol for thousands of years and it's the oldest symbol in the world world it is still in use in the Indian culture and religion and business life and they're like oh okay we found out that it was the oldest symbol and it's hooked up through these people that heralded civilization so we're going to claim that because we want to claim we did something 
anything. Non-Indo-European and blacks have no claim on the swastika except for commercial and decorative uses, as we've seen on these gold pieces and cloth and Native American decorations. The swastika was used to conquer Europe, and it's the only Indian symbol used to do so. None other, not even one by blacks. To you and others, the swastika is only pattern for decorative desires, but for Indians and other Indo-European people, it is a sacred uh, it is sacred in their life and culture. Their houses and dwelling areas have these symbols for culture and religious purposes since thousands of years ago. So you and others can use the swastika, but it didn't have a meaning in your lives. It was not in classical Egypt's history because Greece, i.e. Uh, an Indo-European nation, possessed it in other civilizations, and it was only brought to Egypt by the Romans. And the full symbol was seen doing that, but it's through the Etruscans and so on, and I'll show that to you in a minute. And for you, this information, the swastika is 10,000 years old. Really, it's over 12,000 B.C. Some, uh, somebody said that that thing dates to 16,000 B.C. That's the uh, made out of mammoth dust. Found on Mammoth Ivory in southern Ukraine. Brought to India by the Arians and worshipped since then in the Vedic religion now known as Hinduism so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing he tries to discredit and everything and this that and the other and, and go through it and the guy basically tells him after he went through his whole rant now check this out at the end of the rant he says nice try go home and get your shoe shine box yes he's trying to throw that shoe shine box black man thing on the white man believe it or not as if somehow he's roostering around like he did something and then what does he show? He shows a little white kid and some black man who, given the first opportunity, tries to dress like a white man. That's strange. Even says white slave. Oh yeah, there were white slaves. Negro. Freedom, freedom Negro. Wow. Hmm. So, this guy tells you, I mean, y'all MFs don't even know how to wash your ass till the black man showed you. Oh, they love trying to use that one on us whenever everybody just looks and realizes how the world went and it's disgusting to attempt to say anything such but um, this guy tells you they found an African civilization 20,000 year old African gold and diamonds so he tries to throw that together which is new and they didn't know anything about it African oil which is really not much that's not where we get our oil from but and African history was hijacked by Europeans and still being whitewashed today. White people even introduced a white lion into the original lions of Africa. I mean, there's Barbary Coast lions. There's lions that actually went all the way through Mesopotamia and all up into the north, all up through Europe and everywhere. You know, in Russia, there were lions that were there that came all the way across and into the Americas. This big, huge, damn, huge lions. They have all the cave paintings about them, but he's going to make up that crap. But see, this white lion is revered. Just like the great white buffalo is revered and they don't like that well they don't like that truth is um, most Europeans were a race of Slavs where does he get that from that all of a sudden all of Europe is this one little thing truth is all of black is this one little thing see how this mirror just reflects back on them it's, it's terrible Slavs were slaves the Greeks call them slaves Slavs. So when you use your symbols, whether you like use our symbols, claiming from for blacks, they're not actually admitting to crime against the African people because proof that it belonged to us is older than 10,000 years. So all of a sudden, he's got over 10,000 years because of something. And, and, and you're like, well, uh, you didn't prove anything in any of that. I, I guess it goes along with Egypt, but then how do you get 10,000 out of that? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing what they try to pull off. So, um, and this guy wants to throw in, I love how you wrote that whites use the swastika to conquer a once black Europe. Uh, no one ever said that. But he throws it. See, he throws it. I like the way you didn't ever say this, but I'm going to say it and say that you said it. Acknowledging that you are not from Europe, don't claim you made a mistake. So, 
he tells them that it's first mentioned in the Rig Veda, 12,000 years old, mammoth bones, Africans don't have Russian blood, their DNA shows it's up in Russia and Europe, it has nothing to do with that. The admix of the people that are in India, they've found. Um, he, he just runs him into the ground, and this guy decides he's going to go off and talk about Anglo-Saxons, Normans, the Celts, and all these people that are the Aryans, and try to discount it, but he shows it up. Then he talks about a frequency of albinism right here, like it's got something to do with albino, and, and basically he repeats again that uh, uh, white people were black people, but they went up in the cold and whoosh, turned into Caucasians. That's, that's, what, that's another one they try. And then he tries to show you that Egypt was the progenitor and originator of the Greek civilizations. So in saying that, we know what the Greeks look like, so we're sure of that. But it's foot in the mouth. Well, he's going to show you a foot. Egypt would have led the swastika from its beginning, not from times of the Romans. And he goes, if, right? Well, if the following is from pre-dynastic Egypt, predating and range from 6,000 to 3,000 BC, which isn't 10,000. What predates Roman Greece? Call it what you want, and it's a symbol of a swastika on a foot, and then what looks like a Hebrew type of symbol, iconography, and he's trying to date it and everything, and I'll look at that article eventually. But he tells him, you know, black guy, China produced Genghis Khan, Greece, Alexander the Great, India, Gandhi, great. Russia, Peter the Great, Germany, Frederick the Great, Hitler, France, Charles the Great, Spain, El Cid, Africa, none, nine, nicked, ningo, nothing. And then he goes, if you're trying to race bait me, bro, who's the one that started this whole article with like, look at what I found. I'm going to make up this stuff and then wait and rain. Let me throw a, a, a fish in the water and then I'm going to come in here and try to yip yip and tell you that it's about black people. And there's this guy, Shaka Zulu. Hannibal. So here they claim Hannibal again. Yeah, BBC should have never done that. Tells them their history is very poor. <laughs> and he goes off on them and out. He works up with the Danube River, Don, Dnepr, Dnester, and Danites and everything. And basically runs him to the ground. And this guy calls him a troll. Yeah, he says he's his first troll. And uh, he, he tells them that he is a scholar and then he'll give him a free lesson. Western scholars are beginning to reject the invariant Aryan invasion or outside any origin for the Hindu civilization. And he reads off something of old, old times. Anyhow, so he just he goes on this big tirade like he's done something, but he, he's not attaching any of this to black people whatsoever. Whatsoever. And he says, get back to me when you find a horse and you can start talking about these things that brought about their dynastic history for their first stories, talk about it. When they came in, and not necessarily chariots, and he goes, oh, no, no, chariots, and he goes, how about a cart? That's what that word meant in, in Hindu, is cart. Yeah, they came in in carts, yurts, and all that stuff, and he really has no way to say it. So he turns around and just hits him with five little ones, like they quite often do, rather than one big one and uh, tells them it's case closed. And so he tells them that basically, uh, this, is how, this is how India developed, he says. Um, black people went over and found those Aryan Indian girls. So he admits they're Caucasian. And then he says, most people didn't interbreed with each other, but those Aryans didn't care. And they, they got a hold of the white women. And then uh, that's how that happened. Yeah, and that's the reason some of them are black, and he tries to claim black people. And he says, uh, so he tries to go politics and everything on him, trying to save his butt now, basically, and he's just pretty much destroyed. Starts clipping and pasting. Someone juts in and says it's not even genetically possible for dark-skinned humans to mutate to white skin, explaining to him that it, it, that's not the way that it works. But... It's, it's too late. He's already past that. He can't answer any of the things. He also talks about Taurians and Taurids, including the Vedics and where people had come from up there and everything. And it's like, do you know where the Taurus Mountains are? Okay, so anyhow, and, and, and what it has to do with the bull and Taurus. And he tells them the only difference really is the Aryans in that area cremated their dead, the Indians buried theirs. 
and, he, and, and of course he's got to have a source or are he Samuel L. Jackson well Samuel L. Jackson isn't part of the people that knew anything about this oh oh it's amazing he asked him what was the name of India during that time and he don't know he don't know so he runs him into the ground basically and where's the other little cool part um, oh yeah so he, he runs him to the ground and at the end he says basically you're gonna have him you you're gonna claim Kim to him you can have him dude so um, he's pretty much running to the ground now but he keeps going and going and he and all of a sudden he comes back as it and he's fighting for now having the people that have been proven that it has something that he wouldn't agree with oh it gets bad and then he starts trying to show other references and uh, the other guy makes fun of him and says half your references are from the 1950s when everybody was going to try to deny this please don't say something so foolish and do something like that and then he just goes off on every single, single thing that he says keep calm and poof be gone and he tries to get rid of him and doesn't want to hear it anymore and he goes um, you know I got a question for her. why are black people's hair so different from the rest of humankind and he goes what do you mean these black people and he tries to show a lady from India that's got admix that has reddening hair I did a video about this in fact this is the picture I took where I did the video before and then I had the label but lost the label and so it's been that whenever I did that about people from India and how they're claiming it somehow but the people from India know for sure hell it isn't and what's it got to do with her she's a Caucasian oh yeah it's just confusing to some people especially black people that want to claim him and he starts putting in all these little blogs and all these things and a uh, guy tells him he's pathetic and um uh, that India was called even Ethiopia and the swastika is an African symbol the guy tries to claim though and here we go with that Ethiopia thing so let's just get out of this here real quick let's see what uh what are we gonna look at first so I bet I should have gone the other way so let's look at the uh, Tutankhamun's grandmother here what she had blonde hair yeah and they've checked it and it's blonde hair it's just no question whatsoever and here's the black guy that got shot was going around trying to steal stuff in a shop thing they've got video of him doing it but black people haven't seen that they just saw the other part where the guys came up in a truck and he started fighting the guy and got shot yeah, it's terrible man it's terrible and then they keep trying to use that like somebody did something wrong and it's like yeah look at looky there um so better yet let's look at blue-eyed gods and this might get down to the point a whole lot better for here's a picture of some places around the world that had blue-eyed gods from Egypt from the earliest dynasties of Mitri this is supposed to be the second pharaoh ever ever for for uh, blue eyes Nefertiti has one blue eye left. Oh, they threw a fit when they did a recreation of her and Mitri, but the ancient Sumerians, but then the Aztecs and the Moche people all had blue eyed gods going on. But yet, here's Buddha and blue eyed statues, the Anunnaki and Sumerian gods, but even areas like Gobekli Tepe and these Hoyuk areas that are now showing to date and be Gobekli Tepe progenitor people are shown with this and even a blue eye stuck into them and all these variations of swastikas they used isn't that interesting well it gets worse than that I mean you keep going but even over there you still see the genetics Let's see if it'll pull, show up the picture you you still see the genetics of these Aryan people and these blue eyes in that area in Pakistan in India in Iran Afghanistan it's still there muddy down quite a bit but it's still there yeah so wh wh what's the deal like I'm telling you there's blue-eyed progenitors and they're hooked up with this Aryan thing for you can find it with a swastika all over the place and these blue-eyed guys 
for one of the sayings in India of being a great man of uh, their mantras is number 23 to be blue eyed so we're talking about progenitors of civilization and we could go and show you the ones about South America and everything and he even talks about xenophanes and how he claims that different people can claim gods and they would just claim that their gods look like them even if they didn't look like them which is kind of funny and very telling at the same time so Athena and Athens and the blue-eyed gods uh, that herald civilization and if you want to look at swastikas and how far it goes back let's see if we can find that oldest swastika I'm sure for everybody watching this is not a uh, question in any way shape or form here's one of them Uh, da, 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 13 let's see the one is based on mammoth, mammoth teeth and dates range from 27,000 BC so that's what the other one was there's the one that's 12 or 13 then there's 27,000 there's another one at 7,000 where are you going to show the picture no Anyhow, guys, it looks like a bird, and under the butt of the bird is this swastika that's been done on it that's been carved out of ivory, so it's not some scratchings on a rock. But you can find them all over the world. And if we were to look at this symbology, is it going to pull this up? No, it's going to lock up on us. Anyhow, you can see it. Little bitty in here on coins and stuff and everything. There's even this joke, sorry Nazis, it goes back way before you to India. And then there's this one, sorry India, it goes way back. And how about these chariot dwelling guys here that brought it in that had the swastika? Y'all can see that Maharava coin with swastika. Let's see if I just recover it. So it's an old symbol for the Caucasians, especially the ones that contain a blue-eyed trait. No, you don't have to be blue-eyed and blonde-haired like they tried to pull if off. You just have that trait. How did it possibly go to this? Good thing they're sold literally everywhere business is done. I'm pretty sure you... Wow. Ion propulsion. What is this trying to show us? Stop. Stop. I don't know how that possibly happens. Right, let's just do it this way. It can't find Google. No matter what you give with this, you can get swastika. And it goes both ways. And oh no. One of those breathing masks, somebody. Oh, oh no. And you you're you're an Aryan and you're the racist breather. Oh no. Let's see what's under the images here. It's different images for swastika, and of course it's loaded with these ones that people talk about there. But if we put in the word oldest it all of a sudden fades and that no longer exists anymore and you'll find it different things but so let's let's just do one part of ancient symbols here real quick and what we find is that it's all on ancient coins ancient coins and they contain the Pegasus symbol and lions and all this stuff and it's all the Proto Indo European peoples. There's just different phases of it running through. They all had the same symbology. 
And I've shown how the religions are common and things are all common. What's not common and what doesn't fit in this puzzle is the people that are trying to claim we was Aryans. And you, you'll, you'll find it even in temples and stuff into the floor. And in, in, you'll find it even in Jewish temples on the floor in different places. And you see it all over the place and when was that oh it must have been when the germans are here and stuff no no this was built a long time ago well how long ago does it go it goes back to some twenty-seven thousand years ago but even on this pottery and this is old old ancient triptilian picture what's triptilian they're, they're, they're that same people these are these different pottery cultures but you know what was weird whenever I was doing pottery cultures and everything and everybody's having fits on who went where when and all that stuff one thing that was sure is this symbol went around with every one of them of course by that time you couldn't talk about it anymore and it's weird I've had books shut in my face while we were trying to talk about it and stuff and it's just like it doesn't make any sense so uh he talked about Romans a lot and I said I was going to show this let's just look up Etruscan art I spell it right, yeah. Etruscan art. And you'll see some of this is just beautiful stuff. And they have these goddesses laying down and people in these poses and stuff. And you can tell, oh no, it's just going to pull up a whole thing. Yeah, you can tell they have men in red ochre and pale too sometimes and stuff. But there's a lot more drastic than that. And that red ochre symbology goes through the Minoans and the Mitanni and even the Greeks have that same type of stuff so let's see if I can find a vase or something here all it takes is a few vases seriously and you'll see it oh here's a famous one you pull it up extra if I click on it uh, dick duck <laughs> we used to call it dick duck uh, look at this incredible pottery here and it's got this prancing antelope type thing and if you look right there there's a swastika on it so it doesn't take long to find one I was just familiar with it because of its cool shape but uh these are mermaids fish people mermaids yeah shows you where it all goes back to let's see if I can back out of this since it's trying to lock up Wow. It's funny how this thing all of a sudden goes stupid. Like you click on one thing and it loads it and then it goes, oh, duh. And then when you try to, okay, well, let me go back. And it goes, I don't even know what you were talking about. What if I click the back button up here? Oh, there we go. So if I go swastika images. Oh, I was doing Etruscans. Anyhow, there's so much more than you can see than just the Etruscans and their art. Oh, I was going to put art behind it to make sure I didn't get as many pictures as that. And see if we could find it someplace else. Okay, there's that other picture. Is it going to show it close up? No, my God. Okay. You know things like this that you should have it all prepared but here's here's those Etruscans shown on their walls and they're red ochre with blue eyes just like them Egyptians isn't that amazing <coughs> but some are drawn more pale well some are shown as being more priests and it's that and the other and they use it back and forth different people use it slightly different symbology there's a Vatica where Vatican comes from also, some of these showing show them with pointed ears, pointed shoes. And there's people also on the ancient Behistun description showing them looking very much like gnomes, elves. This statue has them pointed ears. Let's see if I can find it again. Wow. Maybe I should have chose vases. Etruscan vases. Sorry, guy. Vase. Maybe I'll get more of them there. 
There is a bunch of them. Ooh, and Hydra. It's just going to go show, pull up Etruscan art here. And they're not going to have the swastika on anything drawn in that. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not going to show a single base that's got it on it there. That's for sure. But all of the Roman symbology is shown. I mean, here, here's an Etruscan base, and you'd say, no, that, that's a Greek base. And you'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's the symbology of them playing the game while they're waiting between war and everything off of it. That's it. Achilles and Ajax and everything. And, yeah, well, this is an Etruscan base. They all had this thing going on. Everybody tries to say, oh, they're so separate. They da-da-da-da-da. And a lot of these guys were hooked up together. They, you'd look at the gods and know that they're the same gods. Right? These dancing people. Look, whenever they... And it's having trouble loading. I'm losing connection. So again, oh, see if it'll show this picture. I saw this face earlier. This is, I talked about mermaids and stuff before. Here's these people that are jumping in the water and they turn into dolphins. You see that? In Neptune, these people turn into dolphins. That's fucking great. Ah. You gonna be able to show this picture? No. So, you can look up Etruscan art on your own and you see all these different depictions. And I don't know why, I don't see the ones real common that you find that just look like little swirls on them. You click on it and then you'll easily see There they are. Pale women, red ochre males. Hear it again. But all they have is the colors red, black, and white to be able to use, and then the vase color. So this is Diomedes and Poxenia. Oh, want to see one other play, thing I wanted to show you. Ethiopia. Spelled with an A at the first of it. Ethiopia. That's the one that the Greeks talk about. Ethiopians of the Greeks. This is all the areas they show in the Iliad and the Odyssey that are Ethiopians in the Iliad and the Odyssey. Other depictions talk about them being down here too with other Greeks like Strabo and so on said that there were Ethiopians down in this range here too. But this does not mean those people that live up here. For in fact, all the brown areas are Ethiopian, so they're all over Egypt. What? Yep, and then in the Atlas Mountains, and some of the maps show Atlantes is right next to Atlas, and they thought the Nile went through here, and there's no sub-Saharan Africa exists. Yeah, like these people that are claiming we was Aryans, don't even know all these people exist, but all these brown areas showing what I'm talking about. So, kind of strange, isn't it? When you get that, Aryans, and all, all it took was they found a symbol they go, well, we've got that symbol, and they don't want to say, well, we were having to deal with the gold with these other people, so uh, that was their symbol they gave to us and their weight standards that we had to use. No, they aren't going to go with that one. They try to take it all the way to we was Aryans. I'm going to let it go out here. We could go back. We could do a couple more. We could look at blue-eyed Egyptians all day. Go to Google Image. Click on blue-eyed Egyptians, look at that, or blue-eyed scribes, you'll see these crystal blue-eyed, very earliest dynasties. Look at Ginger, the Gibeline mummy. It's not worth talking about if you're going to talk about it in the way they did. If they want to learn about what happened, they can do it in that, but they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that, and apparently we're supposed to be ashamed of it now, by the way.
yeah, we're supposed to be ashamed of being the heralds of civilization and help these people out. And then they sit around and say things like this about it. It's kind of real backwards and very exposing. Like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. And peace.